Well, we're talking to Dave Darts Dempsey here at um, the Sheppard Arts Classic down in Laysdown. Uh, it's always good to speak to you. Thank you very much. How it's always nice going? to you then. Yeah, they're going really well, mate. They're going really well. Um, I'm fortunate enough that I, I work for the PDC as well as as well as help out here with Tony and do this Sheppy. And uh, obviously, there's high quality darts at, at both events. You know, at all events that I do. So I'm really uh, I'm really a lucky person to be doing what I do. Are you doing any calling this year? Yes, I'm doing. Well, for the PDC, me. Well, yeah, and here. At oh, Dance yeah. Classic. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm calling all the finals here this weekend. Um, and um, the well, the finals, as traditionally, have been of a very high standard. Once again, you know, the the players here, they they some of them are known all over the place. You know, um, and normally you see, as in most cases, the cream rises to the top. You know, which is no disrespect to any darts player because every darts player is a good darts player. They take the you know they get three darts in their hand they take the chance some do some don't but they're all good dart players in my eye because they'll never go you know there's no such thing as a bad darts player we've been talking to a lot of players about what it takes to to really accomplish the goals in in the sport what's it take to be a good darts caller um well obviously you've got to be very good with your maths and um you've got to know what to look for the different shot outs and things like that um, you see, I, I've been playing darts since I was 12 years old, and when I was 12, um, where I used to, where I first began, the club in which I first began, you weren't allowed to play darts until you were 18. But they used to let me play darts if I did all their scoring, and in that way, I learned I, my, my numbers became very good, my shot outs became very good just by watching the other players and doing all this marking for them. Um, and once you know that, you know what to look for when you're calling. You can add up very quickly, obviously. And you know, obviously now I get to, I know all the players as well, which is is also a bonus as, as well. Definitely. Do you think that it would help your game as well? Because instantly, I mean, you could think of a number and you know the checkout. Oh that yeah, getting. but I, I see. I don't play darts so much as well. I do, but not as much as I used to now because uh, I'm, I'm more into the calling side of it. Um, with, like I say, with various independent uh, companies, such as last month, I was I was working in Benidorm which is lovely you know um, just running a tournament for the for the week long like you know obviously holiday loads of sun and everything and everything goes really well over there and that's for a, a Spanish company called C Promotions and they're very good um, here it's Tony Tony Cox Promotions um, as I say I do work for the PDC I've done some work for the World of Darts I've done you know various bits and pieces and it's all great. It's all really good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the moment living, you know, a life that's, well, it's good. That's really nice. A lot of travelling involved in doing it. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, I mean, with certain exhibitions that I do, I do a lot of exhibitions with the players as well. And on, you know, I, I can be called on two days beforehand to go wherever, Newcastle, for instance, from Kent to Newcastle. And they asked me to bring all my kit up as well, which is the, the stage set up and everything. And I just tuck that in the back of the Astro van and boom, I'm up to Newcastle, you know. So it can be hectic sometimes. It can also be very, um, very uh, rewarding. It, it, you know, it's, it's just how you treat it. And obviously I like, to, I like to be as professional as I possibly can. You say professional, you say you work for the PDC as well. So you must be rubbing shoulders with some really big names in darts. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've... I've I know them very well. I mean, Phil Taylor, James. Well, I know that I know all the guys very, very well. Like, I mean, I've got all in, like a lot of numbers on my phone. You know, um, we speak quite often. Um, the likes of, of, as I say, Phil Taylor, uh, James Wade, Adrian, A.D. Lewis. You know, um, you name it. And I know know most of the players. So it must be a real joy then for you that with darts being something you love to, to live that day in day out as well yeah absolutely you know I mean as I say you're, you're living the dream aren't you you know you're living the dream you're doing something that you love doing and to a large part it's it's you know paying you to do what you love doing so how many years have you been doing the darts classic with Tony well I, I actually started calling as a whole in 2006 
I'm just lucky that I, I was just in the right place at the right time. Um, so I've been doing the, 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 the classic with Tony for about four years now, I believe, or five years maybe. I didn't come in straight away, but four or five years I've been doing the. Yeah, yeah I think I've been coming for last five so it must be at least five because yeah. you the first time yeah. you came I think it was the f- that yeah. was the, the first year I started right. as well I didn't realise so. that at the time yeah you know and like I say uh, the classic is a, is a big thing I mean you know it's it's it, and it always makes it feel bigger obviously to have you guys you guys here like, which is brilliant we've had a report here from one of the one of the um, tabloids you know and uh, it goes as a big thing and the players because it's seen as as a, as a big thing, the players treat it as a big thing, which is very important to us because yeah. it goes more, it goes more professionally and it's professionally run. Obviously, it's always a great atmosphere when we Absolutely, come absolutely, the atmosphere is. Uh, you know, there's a lot of crowds here like to sort of cheer on their favourite and whatever. So, as well as the call, that you help organise it as well. Yeah, I help do, yeah. doing the organising and things. Yeah, out there, uh, I do generally not just calling but I help run tournaments as, as well you know I mean sometimes I do uh, the emceeing as well as calling like, which is master of ceremonies which is calling the players up to the board uh, <laughs> when I'm doing exhibitions and I tell a couple of jokes you know which luckily for me nobody ever laughs at you know um, but it's great because it makes me laugh and it's brilliant <laughs> yeah. you know um, and that's it really I mean it's not not much more I could say except you know it's nice to come down here and have a great time the, things like this and the Benidorm as I say and certain others they're, they're my if you like holidays because I'll come down here you know once the dance is finished I'll, I'll put a pair of shorts on and have a walk along the beach you know um, Benidorm obviously you're out in the sun you know whatever so yeah these sort of things are great for me it's been great to speak to you. Daniel, it's always nice speaking to you, mate. Right, okay, we're uh, joined with uh, What's Still here at BRFM. Um, we're talking all about the eight, ninth Sheppy Dance Classic. Um, you're letting us know you've been in it a fair number of years. Six years, I think. And the how have you done throughout those years? Twice quarter finalist, and that's the best. How are you fancying this year? Depends how I'll play on the day. Do you find a lot of it is just on the day? Do you have on and off days? Just A lot of it is on the day. Um, plus, depending on your opponent, on how your opponent plays is at this standard, it's... Yeah, I mean, if you're playing good players all the time, you intend to play well. But if you've got a player that you're playing that isn't that good, um, you sort of struggle to sort of... Unless, yes, unless you're a, um, one of the top players in the world, you know, your Taylors, them sort of players. Unless you're that standard that play for a living, um, yeah, it's you find it hard to motivate yourself against a non-dark player. It's funny you should say that because we were speaking to a, another player earlier and he was saying how he focuses on, and I think his quote was, playing the board. Do you find that it's more who you're against as opposed to just the... A lot of it is who you're against. Playing the board, no. No, that, that, that doesn't come into it one little bit. You go up there and you play your game, but you also play your opponent. And depending on how good your opponent is, that's sort of how good you play. Well, that's the way I see it anyway. I can see your theory in it, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's very, very difficult to play somebody who doesn't hit consistently good scores. It's, I think, oh, You've got to push yourself, and then you know. And at my age, and um, I would probably say my quality of darts, um, it's very hard to sort of motivate yourself to play that type of player. But if you go up against a good player, you don't need no motivation. You're there. You just play. It's totally different. Yeah. Well, speaking about the quality of darts, we're going to talk about the quality of darts in a physical sense. I see you've got your set on the table there. Mm-hmm. There's some quite, uh, well, I say, Larry flights you've got in there. <laughs> I've thrown them for years. <laughs> yes, yeah, Wayne Mardell made a comment on them a couple of years ago. Are they like, um, they're like a metallic pearl? They are iridescent. 
that's a descriptive term. Yeah, they're iridescent embossed, so they're white, but then they've got well, they, almost like a holographic. It's kind like of a sensor. pink, yeah. It's just a bit dazzling. I'll give you the award for best flights. Definitely, <laughs> that's the best set we've seen so far. Well, I, I think so anyway. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'll just throw them. I, I just like the flight. Just throw the flight. I'm sure they look even better when they hit the treble twenties. They do. They do. But um, whether they hit many today, it's not the matter really. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Well, no problem. Thanks.